Well, it's pretty hectic out here this morning, just on my way back from Idaho Falls. Uh, it's quite the weather out here they're having. Just passed a guy off the road just not too far back. He was just in a pickup pulling a enclosed trailer and he was jackknifed in the road. They were there at that time getting him out. I don't know if you can see all these lights up here in front of me, so not exactly sure what's going on up here, but we'll see here in a minute, I think. Well, there's a, all kinds of lights right here, but at the moment, I'm only seeing one. Oh, there's two cars off. One on each side, it looks like. Oh, there's another one up here on the left. So there's three of them just right here alone. But we're off the road. This road out here between Idaho Falls and Pocatello, you, you just have sections that, where the wind blows and makes them a mess, and that's where all the vehicles have been off, is in them areas, and then you get an area like what I'm on right now that's pretty good they'll come up to these little sections like this one where you just get that snow blowing across the road. Well, just got through Pocatello, out here now southbound, just past McCammon. The roads are in a lot better shape than when I came up. The plows have been out and plowed and threw down some sand. So just kind of cruising along here, top speed about 45 miles an hour is all I'm going. I've had a few past me, but I'm just going to what I feel is a good comfortable speed for me. So we'll just let him pass me. Well, here's the exit going to Downey. That's actually the way I was going to go home today, but I think I'm just going to try my luck and just stay on I-15 and go all the way through to Riverside. So hopefully I made the right choice. Well, just had, had a few pass me here. There goes another one. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of opened up a little bit here. I'm, I bumped up to about 53 on that, so we'll just uh, we'll just keep plugging away here. Well, just pulling up my lad summer right now. This is the one that I get a little nervous about during snowy, wintry conditions, but this one is in great shape. They've been out and pushed this good and no problems at all. Well, just getting ready to 
take the Riverside exit here to head back to Logan. We had pretty clear sailing from about Malad all the way to here, so that was nice. And it took me probably about an hour longer each direction today than it normally does on that, so, but we made it safe and sound and that's the important thing. So we'll just head back into Logan right now. So, till next time, we'll just catch a little bit later down the road.